In this module, we will discuss the AutoMark or assistive voting equipment that is located in your voting location. Some precincts will combine the duties of the AutoMark judge and the M100 ballot tabulator judge. Items that will be covered are how to set up the AutoMark, where to find supplies and instructions, securing the keys, where to place the headset, returning materials. This is a sample of a polling place setup. The AutoMark should be set up to ensure voter privacy. At the voter's request, two election judges from different major political parties may help mark the ballot. When assisting, be sensitive to their specific needs, avoid influencing how they vote, do not give advice or reveal how they voted. Direct all questions to the voter, not to others with them. Help only as much as requested. A voter may have assistance from others of their choosing. The assistant may help the voter in the polling place, including the voting booth. The exceptions are an agent of their employer cannot assist the voter. A union or candidate cannot assist the voter. An assistant can only physically mark ballots for a maximum of three voters for each election. They may provide other forms of assistance apart from physically marking the ballots. If an assistant has marked the ballot on behalf of the voter, the voter may show it to an election judge privately to confirm it is correctly marked before placing it in the tabulator. More information can be found in the election judge guide. The M100 and AutoMark supply bag will be provided to you by the head judge. Your judge supply bag will include an M100 and AutoMark instructions, signs to be posted, an incident log, I voted stickers, and a blue AutoMark flashcard envelope. An instruction sheet is located in the M100 and AutoMark judge supply bag. This ballot marker sign in your supplies must be posted by the AutoMark. This will help eliminate confusion between the AutoMark and the M100 vote tabulator. The AutoMark only marks the ballot. It does not count the ballot. Place the AutoMark onto a table. The AutoMark is very heavy. Two election judges must lift it out of the case. Never try to lift the AutoMark alone. Make sure the automark is placed on an accessible table for voters needing the assistance. Keep the headset with the automark, but do not plug in the headset until the voter needs it. If the headset stays plugged in, the audio will be heard all day. A voter may use their own headset. Voters must have access to the automark. Always have a chair available nearby, but not in front of the automark, to accommodate the voter. The AutoMark screen should be placed in a way to ensure a voter's privacy. The power cord for the AutoMark is located in the AutoMark case. Plug the cord into the AutoMark and into a working outlet. To access the touch screen, move the slides outward and lift the cover. Pull the screen up and fold the cover down behind the screen. Pull out the front ballot tray so a ballot may be inserted. The AutoMark should not operate on battery power unless there is a power outage. Turn the key to the on position. To verify the AutoMark has been plugged into a working electrical outlet, check the light in the left front corner. If the light is orange, you are running on battery power. If the light is green, you are good to go. If a power strip from the machine to the wall is needed, ensure the power strip is turned on. The AutoMark comes with a set of keys. Once you have the AutoMark set up and ready to go, give the keys to the head judge who will keep them with him or herself. The keys are never left in the machine. If you have any problems with the AutoMark, the head judge will call Blue Earth County Elections. Record the time and problem on the incident log. 
At the end of the night, give the head judge the incident log. If you were lucky enough not to have any incidents, write none across the form. Once the problem has been resolved, record the time and resolution on the incident log. You've made it to the close of the polls. It's now 8 p.m. What do you do? In this next section, we will cover the return of the auto mark and its supplies. Before closing the polls on the M100, you will need to verify all ballots have been tabulated. Check inside the auto mark to ensure a ballot has not been left inside the machine. Any ballots found inside the auto mark need to be marked found in voting station and put in the spoiled ballot envelope. Record this on the incident log immediately. You will need this information to balance at the end of the night. Turn the auto mark off and remove the flashcard. The flashcard should be placed in the blue envelope and then placed in envelope A. Unplug the power cord from the electrical outlet. Then remove the power cord from the auto mark and place the cord in the auto mark case. This is very important that the cord is returned, so please double check. Two election judges must lift the machine off the table and place it in the big black case. Remember to unplug the power cord. In the auto mark case, return the power cord and the headset. Now that you've put the auto mark back in its case, the next question is, should you return it? In the city of Mankato precincts, the answer is no. Leave the auto mark in the secured room where you found it when you opened the polls in the morning. For cities and townships, you do return the auto mark to Blue Earth County elections on election night, unless you've made other arrangements with our office. In the auto mark in M100 supply bag, return the following instructions, signs, and I voted stickers. Give these items to your head judge the auto mark flashcard and incident log. The election judges assigned to the auto mark should know the following. Your supplies and instructions are distributed by the head judge. The machine should be set up and turned on at 6 a.m. Two election judges must lift the machine onto an accessible table. The light on the front of the machine will be green when it is running on electricity. The auto mark keys must be kept with the head judge. The headset should not be plugged in unless needed. Incident log is returned to the head judge. The flashcard is returned in the blue envelope. Instructions and supplies are returned in your judge supply bag. City of Mankato precincts. Leave the auto mark secured in the room where you found it at 6 a.m. Cities and townships. Return the auto mark to Blue Earth County elections on election night unless other arrangements have been made with our office. You've completed the module on the auto mark. If you have any questions about this presentation or any questions at all on Election Day, please call or email us.